happy Monday, and that must mean it's time for Monday Mana. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nineteen to twenty. Don't you know that your body is a sanctuary of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. Ephesians tells us that God is building us into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. It brings up an important question. What kind of home will the Spirit of God live in? You know, an empty house, it has no furniture, no tables, no pictures, nothing in the closets. It's, well, empty, not lived in. But when you move in, you begin to fill it with your photo, your memories, things that express your character. The house takes on your personality and becomes your home. When others walk into it, they see a reflection of who you are. In your spiritual house, your words, your thoughts, your feelings are the accessories and furnishings of your spiritual dwelling. For the Holy Spirit to come and dwell in our temple, we need to ensure we're furnishing our home with accessories, furnishings that reflect His character. Thoughts and emotions and words that are full of holiness, righteousness, purity, and life. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 and 9, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any moral excellence, and if there is any praise, dwell on these things. Do what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. For some of us, it may be time to clean house, to let the Spirit of God walk through our home and remove the offensive, the casual, the furnishings that are not reflective of the character of God and replace them with the better things of his holy character. Hope you have a great Monday and a great rest of your week.